Welcome to our school, secondary school Donji Miholjac. We are Petra, Marko, Patrik, Vedran, Lucia, Paula, and Petra, and we will be your guides through our school. We'll take you on a tour to our past, present, and future. You will hear our headmaster, pedagogical advisor, teachers and students talking about school. We will lead you around our school and show you where our students and teachers will hopefully be next year. So, let's begin with the basic information about our past. Our school has been here since the end of the 19th century, when it used to be a vocational school and a dorm for the underprivileged students whose parents couldn't afford their children's education. It was opened in the name of Celestina Rocher, whose name is now proudly worn by our school students' cooperative. It stayed a vocational school until 1944, when grammar school was also opened. These two schools merged in 1969 into Bracha Ribar Secondary School. We got our current name, Srednja Škola Donji Miholjac, in 1992. We are not a big school. We have 234 students and 43 teachers in four educational sectors which you'll hear about now from our headmaster, teachers and students. As you will later see, the lessons are both theoretical and practical. Could you introduce yourself? Yes, I'm Nena Perić, I'm principal of the secondary school of Dorji Hoyas. Could you give us some basic information about the past of our school? Our school has a long uh, history. Uh, for more than 120 years, uh, we in Doni Mihojac educate students for numerous occupations uh, in this building for almost 19 years. Uh, in uh, this 130 years old education process, we uh, educate students for numerous occupations, like is uh, mechanical engineering, economic gymnasium and agriculture. Uh, this building uh, is the oldest part of this building. Uh, we built in uh, back in the 1932, and in the 50s and 60s, uh, other parts were added. Uh, these sectors uh, that we have is uh, added uh, to to the years. Uh, in uh, back in 1945 uh, was. Uh, only uh, craft occupation, and then started. We started with uh, gymnasium, and in the 60s, uh, mechanical and agriculture school began to operate. Could you give us some basic information about our school? Our school today have, has three sectors, like to, like I told you, uh, the mechanical engineering economics and agriculture and the gymnasium program. In these three sectors we have almost 14 different programs uh, by which we educate students and uh, this uh, the result of teaching uh, of our students, teachers uh, show us how we work. For how long have you been working in the school? I have been working uh, for 20 years, 13 years as a biology professor and the last seven as a principal of school. Could you describe what your job is? My job is quite complex. Uh, in one part, I have to uh, deal with uh, the quality of teaching ensuring the quality teaching, teachers enrolling, uh, teacher organization. Another part, I have to uh, deal with economic affairs by financing and uh, equipment needed for teaching. And now, uh, as you see, I have to deal with construction work every day. What do you expect from the new school? I expect the, that the new school will bring us better condition, both for teachers and the students, and uh, finally, they ensure us a better way to teaching, and in the future, 
I hope that uh, the new school uh, enable us to enable to develop the entire region of Mikhoyevsk. Thank you for your time. Hi, can you introduce yourself? Hello, I'm Mirta Gozinic Palavic. I'm pedagogical advisor at secondary school Donny Mikhoyevsk. For how long have you been working at the school? I'm working at this school for 13 years. I started uh, when I was 23 years old. Uh, I must say that I'm a former student of this school. Everything I do, I do with my heart. Could you describe your job? Uh, my job is to help uh, students with uh, poor um, academic um, grades, the students who are not motivated, uh, I work with teachers on uh, projects that um, uh, have a goal to uh, uh, have well-being for school and promotion. Which part of your job is the most difficult? The most difficult job uh, uh, thing of my job is uh, saying goodbye uh, every year of new generation of students uh, who grown up and become independent. Uh, it's uh, sometimes hard uh, to see uh, family situations in which our students live that we cannot change. It's very hard uh, this COVID situation because we cannot uh, uh, provide our students everything we had planned. What do you expect from the new school? Uh, the new school building uh, will uh, provide better equipment for teaching and I think that we are going to have more opportunities uh, to cooperate with the local community. Okay, thank you for your time. Thank you. As we said earlier, we are not a big school, but we are very successful. Many of our students take part in school, regional and state competitions and always have noticeable results, as well as on the state exam called Državna Matura. Our seniors regularly enroll their chosen university courses without problems, while our vocational students are recognized as hardworking and well-trained workers. Our students and teachers also participate in different national and international projects and actively cooperate with the local community. The students' cooperative Celestina is also well known for its successful work in its variety of sections. So, we are a small school with a lot of enthusiasm and energy. Although COVID-19 has slowed down some activities, there is still a lot going on at our school. Could you please introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Sandra Matkovic. For how long have you been working at this school? I have been working at this school for 20 years, and this was my first working place. Uh, which subjects do you teach? I teach uh, vocational uh, subjects to the future shop assistant and sales manager, as well as a general subject called politics and economy. What is characteristic for your subject? Uh, politics and economy is a subject that shows students how the country function and how they can be involved in it as an active citizen. Vocational subject introduce students with the basic of their future uh, occupation and with the old business aspects. Uh, students are also taught communication and skills. Um, all these skills and knowledge will help them in their personal and professional life. What do you expect from the new school? Uh, I expect a pleasant working climate for both uh, students and teachers and definitely a nicer working environment. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Can you introduce yourself? Hello, my name is Cornelia and I am teacher of the agriculture subject of group. Uh, how long have you been working at this school? I have been working in school uh, for 13 years. Uh, which subjects do you teach? I teach professional subjects uh, such as uh, agrobotany, arranging, dendrology and many others. What is characteristic for a subject sector? Uh, school that I work in educates agrotechnicians, florists and future farmers. Besides the theoretical, students build their practical knowledge. Through a number of practical 
exercises in the practicum and our garden. What do you expect from the new school? The new school building will enable us to work better with modern equipment and new technology. Can you introduce yourself? Uh, hi, I'm, my name is Igor Shikic and I teach here in high school in Donny Mikolic. Uh, for how long have you been working uh, in this school? I have been uh, working in this school for uh, five years now. Uh, which subjects do you teach? I teach uh, machine elements, uh, mechanical construction, uh, uh, measurement and uh, control and uh, also have uh, practical uh, classes with my students. Uh, we can actually see how something in this uh, field of science is done and uh, they can also learn to do it, to do it themselves. Uh, what is characteristic for your department? The characteristics uh, of uh, a mechanical uh, engineering uh, sector is the fact that it can help us to uh, understand how the uh, world around us uh, function uh, and uh, it can also help us uh, solve some um, problems uh, with the knowledge uh, that we as uh, humans uh, already have um, and the beauty of uh, my profession is in its ability to facilitate uh, the work of a man. What do you expect from the new school? From the new school uh, I expect to give uh, more uh, opportunities to our uh, pupils, uh, primarily because of uh, arrival of the new uh, equipment uh, uh, that should uh, expand and uh, raise uh, the quality of uh, teaching. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Can you introduce yourself? My name is Karolina Dasovic. Uh, for how long have you been working in this school? I have been working uh, at this school for 17 and a half years. Uh, which subject do you teach? I teach English and German. Uh, what is characteristic for your department? Well, um, languages are specific because they are taught in um, every sector which basically means that pupils from different sectors uh, in our school all learn languages. Uh, most of them learn English as their first foreign language and some of them even learn German. The specific is that we uh, tend to organize our uh, lessons uh, so that we um, have uh, interactive classes um, we um, try to uh, communicate as much as possible and to teach our uh, pupils uh, to be how to be active speakers one day. Uh, what do you expect from the new school? Um, well, uh, being able to work in a newly designed and uh, modern uh, school with um, high tech uh, in it uh, would be really um, great and is something that I'm really looking forward to. Um, but also I hope that it will give us all additional motivation and strength uh, for the future and that we will work even harder. And um, I hope that it will also attract um, new pupils and more pupils to our school.
Can you introduce yourself? Uh, I'm Fabian Nilosic, I'm 17 years old and I'm a student in 3rd Ag Agra. Why did you enroll high school in the Netherlands? Um, I heard that it is the best school around and my mom told me everything good about it. Are theory and practice balanced out? Uh, yes, they are balanced out. How are you satisfied with teachers? Yes, I am because they are very fr friendly and I think they, they will help me further in life. What is your favorite subject? Uh, it is English because I like foreign languages. Tell us about your most memorable experiences in school. Um, hanging out with friends, um, doing decorations, decorations for our town with professors. What do you dislike the most in school? Um, toilets, because they are disgusting. Do you think this school is going to prepare you for the life properly? Um, yes, I do, because teachers are nice, subjects are very good, and we have a um, good amount of practice. What do you expect the new school building to have? Um, newest machinery in farming, so we can learn new things. Matja Geric, uh, I am fourth year uh, in computer technician class in high school in Donji Mihovoljac and I am 18 years old. Uh, why did you enroll high school in Donji Mihovoljac? Uh, I enrolled it in it uh, because it's close to my house and my older friends had good experiences in this high school. Do you like the way lessons are held? Uh, yes, I do because the lessons are interesting and fun. Are theory and practice balanced out? Uh, yes, they're balanced out very good uh, and we need practice, lots of practice hours to prepare for future jobs. Are you uh, satisfied with teachers? Uh, yes, we respect teachers and they respect us too. Uh, what is your favorite subject? Uh, my favorite subject is math because it's challenging and um, I like the way lessons are held. Tell us uh, about your most memorable experience in school. Um, hanging out with friends and other students is pretty fun and everyone in this school are pretty good friends with me. Uh, what do you dislike the most in school? Uh, the school as the building is very old, so that's the first part. Do you think this school is going to prepare you for life? Uh, yes, I do, because I think this knowledge from this high school uh, is going to be very useful in life. Can you introduce yourself? Can you introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Eva, I go in fourth grade. Why did you enroll high school in Donji Mihovoljac? Uh, I heard that it's a very good school and that mm -hmm. the teachers are very good and they are always willing to cooperate. Are you satisfied with teachers and what is your favorite subject? Uh, yes, I'm very satisfied with the teachers here. Uh, my favorite subject would be history uh, tell us about your most memorable experience in school. Uh, probably uh, before the pandemic of COVID, uh, when we were at recess, all sitting together at benches and uh, eating and just talking and being together. Uh, what do you dislike the most in school? Uh, the thing I most dislike is the walk from the school to the gym. It takes a rather long time, uh, so that can be quite exhausting. Uh, but other than that, it's good. Uh, do you think the school is going to prepare you for life properly? 
Uh, I think it will because uh, the teachers incorporate in their classes um, practical things, things from life, uh, and they can give really good life advice and, and, and what university you can enroll after high school. So I think I will be pretty happy. Uh, what do you expect the new school to be? I expect it to have much nicer interior than the school. Uh, I expect it to be more uh, technically improved, um, but overall the quality will be the same because what makes the school is the teachers of the building. Hello, could you introduce yourself? Hello, my name is Ivan Azanich. Uh, I'm going to high school for a commercialist. I'm in my third year. Why did you enroll in high school here? I enrolled in this high school because I have heard great things about teacher and I've heard the education here is very high. Are you satisfied with teachers? I'm very satisfied. I have met a lot of great teachers and I think they have a uh, great knowledge and they can share it very much and very good. Tell us about your mo most memorable experiences in school. Well, my most memorable experience was uh, going to an acting competition and going to nationals. Do you think that this school is going to prepare you for uh, the future properly? I think it will prepare me for future very good because uh, uh, I'm learning a lot of things uh, that other schools don't and I'm learning a lot of things uh, that that are important for life uh, more than basic education. What do you expect the new school building to have? I expect it to have a new technology that will make our learning uh, more easier and we can uh, be in touch with uh, modern technology more. Excellent, thank you for your time. Thank you. We hope that younger generations will also recognize the opportunities that our school offers, especially with the new building on the way. We will show you a glimpse to our future school.